Why hello there friends, it's Emma here, the Bookish Princess. I hope you're feeling hungry because today's video is all about fortune cookies in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. We are going to be eating no fewer than 76 fortune cookies and seeing how the cookie crumbles, seeing what items we get. So before we get into it, I'm gonna give a quick overview of what fortune cookies are in case you're new to the game. I've done lots of pocket camp tips videos in the past. We've talked all about leaf tickets. Those are the most premium currency. You can pay real money to get leaf tickets. You can also earn some for free. I've done a whole video about all the ways to get leaf tickets for free. So you do get some free leaf tickets just through normal gameplay, but not a whole lot. So fortune cookies, I feel like, are tied very closely to leaf tickets because the easiest way to get them is to pay leaf tickets. However, like leaf tickets themselves, you do get a certain number of free, as it were, fortune cookies um, just by playing the game. So, so what is a fortune cookie? It is basically a collection of items. Um, opening a fortune cookie in Pocket Camp, there are 10 different items that you could get. There are different rates, so the rarest item is very rarely uh, going to be at the item that you get. Um, and you, the three star or four star, the bronze and silver items are the ones that you are usually gonna get. Sometimes you spend your hard earned leaf tickets on fortune cookies, open a whole bunch and you just get the same item, you get duplicates, and it's so frustrating. That is the main reason I do not spend my leaf tickets on fortune cookies. It is a game of chance. You might get items that you don't care about, and then you're gonna feel frustrated. You're gonna wanna spend 50 more leaf tickets, see if you can get it on the next go, and it is just not worth the hassle. You're going to get lots and lots of fun items in the free fortune cookies that you get just through the normal course of gameplay. And so I think it's way better to be content with those fortune cookie items and then I spend my leaf tickets on dresses and wallpaper and you know campsite backgrounds and things that I can spend the leaf tickets and know for sure what I'm getting. Okay, so once we get into the munching, you're going to see exactly how I got my free uh, 76 cookies. This was over three months, so for the third, for the past three months of gameplay, I like to log in and play a little bit every day. Um, every time I spotted a free cookie, um, I would real quick do a screen recording so that um, we could eat it together. The first way you can get free leaf ticket cookies is through the fortune cookie cart. So this is where you would go to buy um, a normal fortune cookie for 50 leaf tickets. But if you would just keep your eye on that shelf on the top, every day there are going to be two different cookies there. A lot of the time they're like the beige and brown cookies, and those aren't really special ones. It's the super colorful ones that are the rare ones. Every so often, a rare one is going to pop up there and you can pay 5,000 bells. 5,000 bells are easy to get, way easier to get than leaf tickets. I did attempt to crunch the numbers. I hope I did my calculations correct. Um, but 26 of the 76 cookies um, that we're about to eat came from the cart. It does switch over in the afternoon. So if you have time, give it a look in the morning, give it a look in the afternoon, see if there are any colorful cookies that you can snag for 5,000 bells. The second way you can get free leaf cookies is by participating in the goals. So you get all sorts of different items by completing the goals and the goals are always different. Sometimes it's catching fish or logging into the game for a certain number of days, um, login bonuses. Um, I, I think there were a couple of these that were login bonuses bonuses, but just for simplicity's sake, I'm counting them under the same category as cookies I got from goals. Um, and I got 12 cookies from goals or login bonuses. So that's not a lot. And actually over the past three months, I would say we've seen more fortune cookie goals than usual. Um, the Sanrio event had I think like five fortune cookies that you got through one set of goals. And usually it's like one set of goals and you get one fortune cookie for free at the end of it. Um, still worth checking out the fortune cookie goals. Those usually don't last very long. Other sets of goals might last a whole week or two weeks, but fortune cookie goals usually are just like three days that you have to catch a bunch of bugs or catch a bunch of fish or something like that. And the final way is the most effective way. I got the most fortune cookies from this method and I also got the most 
five star items. I don't know if that one was a coincidence or not um, from this method, but it's friends. So I've done a video talking about how to interact with um, friends. And one of the fun things you can do interacting with friends is send them the presents. So presents you get kind of randomly through the game, you know, completing different goals. Sometimes you get them from villagers um, and they'll show up in your inventory and you can send them to your friends. Now, most of the presents um, that you can send, even the most basic ones, the basic orange ones, there's a chance they could contain a cookie. Now you're not gonna get the cookie, your friend's gonna get the cookie, um, but this is how you get your friends to send you presents. You have to send them presents. And then it just becomes a beautiful circle. So every time you get those orange presents, make sure you're sending them out to your friends. Sometimes you get presents that are guaranteed to have a cookie. Make sure you're sending those to your friends. The guaranteed cookie presents it is actually harder to send them in a way because you actually have to send a certain number of like normal presents before you can send the guaranteed cookie presents. So, so for some presents, it's say 20 presents that you have to send and you can only send one a day. For most of the nice guaranteed cookie um, presents, it is 30 presents you send to a friend and then after that you can send them um, the cookie presents. So I did get a total of four five star items out of this 76 cookies so you can see that's not actually a very good <laughs> a very good ratio but considering i didn't pay anything any leaf tickets any real money for these um cookies you know i'll take that i don't know if it was a coincidence or just a friendly little uh perk to the algorithm but all four of those five stars i noticed did come from uh presents from friends and then for the rest of the 76, 23 of those were four star items, 49 were three star items. I didn't tally up the duplicates. I'm pretty sure there were three or four duplicates. I think there was a triplicate where I got three of the same item, um, but that's just counting, you know, within the 76, within the 76 cookies I opened in this video. That is not counting, you know, cookies that I've opened in the past because then there would be even more duplicates. All right then, enough talking. If you haven't yet, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. Now let's get to feasting.
Thank you.